Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. Let's talk about a case out of Pinellas County, Florida, Largo, Florida. Authorities just arrested a Florida plastic surgeon by the name of Thomas Kozowski in connection with the disappearance of a man named Steve Kazi, who was a lawyer at Pinellas County, who's still missing. Kozowski was just charged with first degree murder. Check this wild case out. So the media is reporting Thomas Kozowski arrested in connection to missing Largo lawyer. On Sunday, the Largo Police Department announced that they had arrested 44 year old Thomas Roman Kozowski in relation to the disappearance of Stephen Kazi a Pinellas County lawyer with Blanchard Law, PA. Kazi was last seen Tuesday, March 21st, before disappearing under suspicious circumstances. Police alerted the media that he was missing three days later. On Tuesday, the Largo Police Department responded to a call for service in reference to a missing person. Officers learned that Stephen Kazi had left his office 1501 South Belcher Road without his wallet, car keys, and cell phone. However, he was never seen exiting the building and left behind his vehicle. During the investigation, police say there was a strong chemical odor in the men's bathroom of the office and small drops of blood. A forensic investigation revealed a significant amount of blood in the same bathroom. As a result, Largo police detectives began looking for a suspicious person and vehicle that were seen at the office building at the same time as Kazi. Kazi and Kozowski Connection Kazi was listed as a legal representative on a case in Pinellas County Courts. The case was filed in 2019 by Dr. Thomas Kozowski. Kozowski is suing his former employer, Dunedin Surgical Consultants, LLC, along with other medical group, two doctors, and an insurance billing worker. In 2019, Kozowski filed suit against the defendants, accusing them of hiring a new insurance biller, who Kozowski said improperly handed the insurance claims of at least two patients. He also accused the new biller of intentionally and continuously misrepresenting the claims were filed properly for his patients and that insurance payments were on the way. The morning Kazi went missing, Kozowski filed motions to compel testimony from the insurance biller, saying they were unwillingness to respond to previous requests. The day before, the biller's lawyer, who does not work for Blanchard Law, filed responses to previous requests for information, saying, Objection. This request calls for information protected by attorney client privilege, is vague, overbroad, unduly burdensome, among other things. On the same day, the surgeon appears to have filed a request for final judgment in the case on the biller's failure to file responsive pleadings. Kozowski taken into custody. Authorities obtained a search warrant for Kozowski's residence in Tarpon Springs earlier this week. Evidence obtained from the search warrant led to the vehicle stop of Kozowski on Saturday. Kozowski was placed in custody, transported to Pinellas County Jail. He has been charged with first-degree murder, according to police reports. Authorities are still looking for the body of Stephen Kazi. Now, this Kozowski guy is a famous plastic surgeon from the Tampa Bay area. He also has offices in Miami. It's a little bit of information about him. I found an interview he gave about plastic surgery. We're here today with Dr. Thomas Kozowski from the Basson Center and My Tampa Lipo. He's going to tell us how to restore your natural, youthful appearance with just one quick and easy procedure. Welcome, Dr. Kozowski. Thank you very much. Tell us a little bit about how Aqua Lipo is different from traditional liposuction. Aqua Lipo is when I use a gentle stream of water to help dissolve the fat before it gets suctioned away. Now, the nice part about Aqua Lipo is that there's a lot less bruising and a lot less toll on the body. So it looks like you can get that look with a lot less hassle. Absolutely. Um, the procedure itself is done with uh, the patient here in the office, wide awake. And usually they can drive themselves in and drive themselves home. And the other nice thing about aqua lipo is we can use that fat that we just suctioned out and we can use it in other parts of the body. For example, the face, the breast, or the buttocks. I think I saw Dr. Bassin perform that procedure on the Dr. Oz show. From what I remember, the patient was awake the entire time and seemed totally comfortable and there was no pain. Tell me a little bit about natural fill. Uh, absolutely. So we take that fat that we harvest from liposuction and we can actually inject it in your face and, for example, help you with um, the wrinkles around your nose, the hollowness around your eyes, or even for cheek augmentation. We can even reconstruct an entire breast. Tell me a little bit about laser lift. A lot of us are seeing those changes to our face and I've heard a lot about this. 
Laser lift is a minimally invasive facelift that we do right here in the office. It requires the use of a laser to gently whisk away fat as well as tighten some skin. It's generally a, a day procedure. It takes about half an hour to an hour or so of office time. And you're back to work within a short time frame, usually within five days. And what about some of us women who want a more dramatic change to their body? Can, do you do those techniques too? Absolutely. So we do um, the whole gamut here, um, from breast augmentation to buttock augmentation to mommy makeovers and tummy tucks. Uh, we do it all. Thank you, Dr. Kozowski, for joining me today and just your work helping women feel better about themselves. Steve Kazi is still missing. Where is he? Where's Steve Kazi? I'm looking into this case. Authorities have something to arrest him with first degree murder, but they still have not found the body of Steve Kazi in Pinellas County. This is my neck of the woods. I am investigating this matter. Where's the body of Steve Kazi? Is he in the trash? Was he disposed of? Authorities have no evidence that he left his law office. What's going on here? What's going on here? Why did Thomas Kozowski go to the law office? That's what it seems like according to what the reports are. I mean, was he mad because he was representing uh, a company that Kozowski was suing? I'm gonna look into this matter, but I'm letting you know a plastic surgery surgeon by the name of Thomas Kozowski just arrested, charged with murder, and the body of Steve Kazi is still missing. Stay tuned. When I get new information, I'm gonna be looking into this matter. I'll share with all of you. Everyone be safe, God bless.